Bon Joke Vlog. Just last night on Amazon Prime Video, I watched Demon City Shinjuku from 1983. About a year ago, I watched this on YouTube. Someone uploaded it, you know. You try to upload something to 720p or 480p, they give you horrible compression. And I thought it pretty enjoyable. Let me tell you, they've got a pretty solid dub here. You can watch it dubbed. It's in high definition. This was an OVA, original video animation from 1988. And it's, it, if you want to consider that a movie, it didn't get a theatrical release, but then again, what does anymore? This could be the best anime movie you haven't seen. So start out, we had these two guys sword fighting. Actually, one of them uses like a, a wooden stick. Uh, I Don't bring a wooden stick to a sword fight. He gets defeated. Some demons conjure up in the city. Yeah, this is in Japan. Demon City Shinjuku. So this is Shinju Shinjuku District. It's overran by demons. Got this guy, Rebby Ra, in control. He has demons at his beck and call. Uh, waiting for the right moment, you know, when the demons are gonna come from the bottom, come from hell, take over Earth, or at least Japan, Tokyo. Standing in his way, there's this new president of the Federation. Yeah, this is Starship Troopers. Comes in on a plane that is a space shuttle. This is 10 years after that big sword fight, stick fight. And uh, he gets, what, you're telling me the new Miss Universe that presented him some flowers was a demon? He gets put in a coma. Uh, there's this ninja master, and yeah. If there's something to be said about this movie in a negative light, when they're having dialogue, it's not their A-team animation. Uh, they, they kind of phone it in. And there's a lot of exposition dumps without a lot of great character development. Just a little short uh, master of magic. Start speaking to this guy. I can't remember his name, was it Koya? I'm gonna say main guy at this point. I'm probably saying that wrong. But I'm not saying main guy wrong. So he talks to main guy. <laughs> main guy, that could be a character name. And he's like, hey, your dad, he died 10 years ago. What, I thought he was just missing, you know? He's fighting this guy, Redby Raw, and he lost. And only you have the power to prevent forest fires, right? So he's like, hey, I don't want a piece of this. And I'm just kind of a, 20-something that kind of teaches in this dojo, get on my face. Well then, he, uh, since that didn't work, uh, Ninja Master Magic, he, he sends the hot babe daughter of the President of the Federation with a pink bow and a pink shirt. Don't remember her name. I'm gonna say hot chick. Uh, I thought she was really an endearing character. She had this nice English uh, voice. She was just so nice. No matter what happens, she is just always uh, bringing the positive and looking to forgive. And and that goes a long ways for them. Didn't really care for the part where she gets sexually assaulted by a mob. Because the uh, main guy turns her down and then she goes into Shinjuku alone, tries to find Rebi Ra, gets met by some guys in the corner, and fight ensues. And let me tell you, the fights in this movie look so damn good. There's an animation here that I think best Akira and main guy has such an attitude. He's a great anti-hero. Saying a lot of things that may be on the mind of a teen viewer that don't really get said in a movie. And there's a great kick-ass score. The monsters look awesome. There's a lot of great innovative looking effects. Just everything looks clean and hand-drawn the way it should be. And yeah, the art style is a little bit initial D. I can see a little bit of that. I'm sure you can too. And I'm not going to ruin this, but they, they run across some help, friends and foes. If you're looking for something that has a kick-ass synth pop score, hand-drawn, good-looking art design, characters you can really root for, highly suggest you check out Demon C Shinjuku, I give it three out of four stars. You just watched a video from my son. He's about 40 and lives in my basement, ladies. So subscriber and notify the bell for ringing. Okay, I said what you wanted me to say. Now do the goddamn dishes.